Seeking the origins of our universe, but what if you didn't have to leave Earth to get the answers? We look at how one project is set to reshape space exploration and how Canada could play a big part. Also, the best astronomy photographers from around the world. I'm Fon Chaudhry. Welcome to Globe Now. It was an incredible moment for space exploration. The Rosetta probe caught up with a speeding comet. The European spacecraft traveled 10 years and it cost nearly $2 billion. But not all space exploration actually takes place in the depths of the cosmos. Some of it happens from here on Earth. Construction is underway to build a 30-meter telescope project, and Canada could play a big part in it. Joining us now is Ivan Semenek, our science reporter. Welcome, Ivan. Thank you. Tell me about this telescope project. You can't get any further than the solar system these days with, with uh, human-made spacecraft, so uh, there's still a need for telescopes to look deeper. We're at a very interesting point now where most of the biggest telescopes in the world, uh, they, they work by capturing light in giant mirrors. The biggest mirrors tend to be 8 to 10, uh, in some cases 12 meters across. They're kind of made up of segments. Right. Uh, and, and it seems as though those telescopes have essentially got to the limits of what they can do. And the world of astronomy, consortia of different nations and universities are, have been saying for a number of years now that the, really a big transition is needed to telescopes that are 30, 40, maybe even 50 meters across and that this would take the next leap right right to the visible edge of the universe. Incredible. And this, you know, in a week when a lot of focus on the Rosetta probe, you know, this right. spacecraft. And I wonder, given, you know, this idea of a telescope, you know, doesn't it seem like a safer bet, you know, to kind of do that space exploration from here on Earth? Because, you know, the Rosetta probe, the hard work is ahead of it and a lot can still go wrong. In a sense, uh, astronomers need both, or scientists need both. Uh, so, uh, you know, the big, the big telescopes are there to be able to look at multiple targets, to be able to figure out what, what needs to be examined for further study, uh, and especially for things that are beyond our solar system. And at the same time, by physically going to our solar system, to the comets, to the asteroids, that's a connection to understanding what's going on when we see star formation happening in other places, these beautiful nebula, swirling disks of debris, around newborn stars. Those are places where solar systems like our own are forming today. So these giant telescopes, there's only going to be a few of them. Right. And, and, you know, and they're going to dominate astronomy for this coming century. So the challenge for Canada is, you know, these are billion dollar projects. We're not going to be able to do one ourselves. So do we climb on board one of these things because two, only two or three will exist? And what is stopping Canada from climbing on board. Well, it's, it's a lot of money. So, sure. we, we, so the 30-meter telescope is the one that we have our closest association to. By we, I mean uh, Canada and the Canadian government. There's already been an, an investment of about uh, $30 million just in, in some of the studies around the telescope. For full partnership, Canada would have to invest about $30 million, uh, $300 million, and that decision would have to be made fairly soon because now the way has cleared for construction of this telescope in Hawaii. Now that money, a lot of it would be spent in Canada, uh, including the company that would construct the dome for the telescope. So there are some good reasons for this. And Canada already has some investment in the James Webb Space Telescope, which is going to be the space telescope that goes beyond Hubble. Mm -hmm. uh, and in a sense, these two uh, will be very complementary. The idea is you've got the space telescope that can do things that no telescope on the ground can do, but you've got the telescope on the ground that can have the big picture. Interesting. Then. Thank you so much, Ivan. Well, we want to hear from you. A $300 million investment by Canada and a giant telescope, is it worth it? Tweet us at Globe now. Okay, we've talked spacecraft, we've talked giant space telescopes, but here's a group of photographers who managed to capture breathtaking pictures of our universe with just their cameras. They are part of a competition to win the Astronomy Photographer of the Year Award. It's being held by the Royal Observatory in Greenwich in the UK. Take a look.
Well, that's all for today's show. If you've got a moment, hop on to Twitter. Do you think enough is being done to get people excited about space? Or should government resources be spent on other scientific endeavors? Tweet us at GlobeNow. I'm Afan Jodhri. Thanks for watching.